If you've read any of the announcements, you've likely come across the term data agents in Fabric, which is the AI skill artifact that has now been renamed. The idea of an AI skill or data agent is that you can ground it in specific data sets in Fabric or related to a specific topic and provide it with instructions on what the data means and how to answer prompts related to it. It operates as an engine which converts the user prompt into a query against the data, for example, a SQL query. And in building the agent, you can provide some few shot examples of prompts and resulting queries. AI skills have been around for quite a few months now, but up until quite recently, they've been limited to only being able to utilize Lakehouse tables as a data source and converting prompts into SQL queries against them. A massive enhancement to AI skills in recent weeks has been the addition to add semantic models and KQL databases as data sources, and for the engine to return DAX or KQL queries accordingly in order to answer a given prompt. In fact, it could use a combination of these, given that the semantic model may contain aggregated data, the lakehouse tables, the raw transactional details, and the KQL database, a real-time view of what is happening right now. I didn't manage to capture this section of the session at Fabcon by Nelly, but we can see this in action in a video that's been posted to the Fabric YouTube channel, linked to in the video description. As an AI creator in Fabric, I want to build a data agent that helps me answer questions on the gaming industry. It also offers insights into my organization's game offerings. So to start, I'll create an AI skill. First, I'll add a semantic model with data on regional and competitive gaming trends. This lets me use the AI skill to ask questions over the semantic model. I'll select tables to scope my AI skill and then start asking questions. Now, I want to understand regional game sales across the industry and identify potential opportunities. The AI skill translates my natural language question into a precise query, providing a breakdown of the units sold by region in my dataset. I could also view the AI's process, including the restated question and the generated DAX query for greater transparency. Now, let's explore a more complex question. I want to see the top selling games in each region. The skill returns the top 10 games for North America, Europe, Japan, and the rest of the world, with Wii Sports consistently ranking in the top five across regions. Now, additionally, I can also review the AI's process, which I can see that broke down my question into four different subqueries, one for each region. Next, I want to explore additional trends for my organization's data sources. I'll add a KQL database with real-time data on online ratings and player activity. I'll also add a lakehouse, which contains player and account data for games produced by Contoso. Once I've added these additional data sources, I'll go ahead and select the relevant tables for my AI skill. With these multiple data sources, I can also provide additional instructions to better guide the AI on how to use these different data sources. I can use this to also provide guidance on business concepts that are useful for my organization. Now, I can ask questions about multiple data sources with the AI skill selecting the best sources to answer each question. I'll start by asking about the average user rating for Wii Sports and our game, Contoso Sports. This query uses my KQL database. Interestingly, the initial response missed Wii Sports due to an error in the KQL query, but no problem. I can provide sample KQL queries to help the AI skill improve. With these examples, the AI skill will look up relevant queries and apply them for future accuracy. When I re-ask the question, I get the updated average user ratings for both Wii Sports and Contoso Sports between September and October 2024. I'm curious about Contoso's lower ratings, so I'll dive deeper to analyze potential factors. I'll begin by examining top players with declining usage. My KQL database includes real-time data on gameplay hours, and the AI skill can translate my question into the appropriate KQL query, returning the players with decreased activity. To understand why these players' usage decreased, I'll need access to data my lake house. With the AI skill's conversational capabilities, I don't need to re-enter individual customer IDs. It automatically picks up this context for my previous answers and applies it as a filter to my lake house table, which includes the churn statuses and account details from each player. Now, this is really powerful. In a simple conversational way, I can leverage the AI skill to now explore multiple data sources and conduct deeper analysis effortlessly. As you can see, it can be quite powerful to be able to combine queries across different data sources to be able to get an answer. 
even passing the outputs of one query as an input into another. The other big announcement around data agents and Fabric was also the integration with the Azure AI agent service in Azure AI Foundry. So once you've built the data agent in Fabric, you can publish it to be called via an API. Microsoft have actually launched an SDK to be able to interact with data agents mm -hmm. via OpenAI and can use it as a grounding source for an AI Foundry agent. Agents in AI Foundry are then the full-blown agents that can perform tasks. In the second part of the keynote, Marco Castellania showed an agent very slowly filling in a form on a website based on details that had been provided. Details perhaps resulting from a query that had been generated by a Fabric data agent based, say, on structured data in the semantic model, Lakehouse or KQL database. Let's have a look at that. Available on the computer and bit by bit, it is filling this in. Now, one thing to note about CUAs, right now, they're not that fast. So it's not gonna whip right through this thing. Another thing about them is, in a moment here, it's gonna have to fill in this date picker. Date pickers are the bane of computer use agents. Uh, just as much as they confuse us, they often confuse CUAs, although in this case, it seems like it might actually get it. And along the right-hand side, you can actually see kind of its thought process and the actions that it's taking as it works through this task. And now it's asking for my input. It says, is it ready to submit? I'm gonna say, go, submit it. And it should actually go and do that. Now, while it's doing that. I'm particularly excited about data agents being able to query semantic models, as it can then leverage the context of business specific calculations built in DAX. For me, the semantic model is the heart of where logic and data analysis sits and is the most useful source for generative AI. This is what I think will give Microsoft a real competitive advantage in the rapidly moving Gen AI race, but it also provides extra pressure on us as Power BI and Fabric developers to make sure those semantic models are built properly with the right measures, descriptions, synonyms, and corresponding instructions in a data agent to provide Copilot with the right business context for answering queries.